Grand Chief Bozum, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations. You've served as a longtime negotiator for the Cree Nation government. Do you expect to put those skills to work again soon with Quebec or Canada? Absolutely. I think the uh, 16 years uh, as negotiator for Cree-Quebec relations has helped me uh, understand the issues both uh, in the communities and, uh, and dealing with governments as well. And so we, we have signed over 80 agreements uh, since then and every agreement uh, is there to be implemented so I hope to uh, be able to do that. Your mandate is for four years. In that time, what are you expecting some of the pressing issues for the 18,000 Cree that you represent? Well, my Cree, vi my Cree vision for, uh, is, is, is uh, to become masters of our homeland. And what that means is that we need to develop uh, capacity. Uh, we need our people to be able to run all the institutions and be able to carry out uh, a number of functions are uh, needed um, and of course uh, in order for that to happen we also need to focus on what we call community development and in the area of community development um, we we do lack houses uh, Cree uh, lack about 3,000 houses so part of my campaign was about uh, bringing home uh, tangible benefits uh, from these agreements including housing so housing will definitely be a, a priority for me and I believe that through housing, uh, we can solve many of other issues, uh, such as employment, uh, job creation, um, also stimulating our local economies, and uh, dealing with some of the social issues of overcrowding and, and, and backlog in housing. The Ground Council of the Crees are currently writing a constitution. What do you hope to gain from having such a document, and how will you go about writing it? Well, this is an important uh, agreement that was signed recently. Uh, as part of implementation, uh, we will uh, begin uh, working uh, on our constitution. This will require uh, a number of consultations in all our Cree communities to uh, get their input. It uh, will require reviewing some of the documents that have already been prepared. And then uh, once we uh, believe that we're all, all on the same page, then we'll, then we'll have to bring the experts together to begin the drafting. And this constitution, of course, is really the law that will govern our territory. And so it's important that we get it right uh, from the beginning. Matthew Kuhncum is such a prominent figure in First Nation politics. What's it like for you to take over from someone like that? Well, it's wonderful. Uh, you know, Matthew and I go way back uh, to residential school days. Uh, and so I've been working with him uh, for the last 40 years or so. And so, uh, you know, I've really uh, admired uh, his leadership and he's obtained uh, a lot of uh, benefits for, for the agreement and certainly has uh, expanded uh, the meaning of treaties. And, uh, and so uh, I'm gonna be picking up uh, from where he's left off and uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident that, uh, you know, we can, there's still a lot more things to do and uh, he'll still be around. Uh, we'll be calling upon him from time to time to provide advice. Grand Chief, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much for taking the time to join us today. You're welcome.